Hello everyone, good afternoon. Uh, today we have another new lesson. Uh, you can find that in pages 42 and 43. It's nature's art, nature's art. Okay, um, in here we will have, or we will study the new vocabulary of this lesson. So let's get started. Okay, let's start. Brightly colored brightly colored it's an adjective it means having bright colors having bright colors wooden creature wooden creature it's a noun it means an animal made from wood get sick get sick it's a phrasal verb it means become ill afford to afford something it's a verb it means to have enough money to buy or to pay for something so to buy or to pay for something afford forest forest it's a noun a large group of trees a large group of trees it means forest pain 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 is a noun. It means discomfort. Turn into. Turn into. Phrasal verb. It means change to something else. Path. Path. It's a noun. Walkway. <coughs> narrow. Narrow. It's an adjective. It means thin, not wide. Forget. Forgets. It's a verb. Not remember. So if you don't remember something, you forget it. Forget. Sketch. Sketch. It's a noun. It means drawing. Make known. Make known. It's a phrase of verb. Cause somebody or something to be famous. Tradition. Tradition. It's a noun. It means custom. Okay, so here in this lesson, you can find the story of Albrechis. Albrechis. Uh, it has a Spanish pronunciation. Okay, so um, what do they mean by Albrechis? Those are the Albrechis. So what is the story of these Albrechis? Let's start. Albrechis are brightly colored Mexican folk art sculpture of fantastical mythical creatures mythical means um it occurs um only in stories not real the first albrechts along with use of them originated with pedro linares so who is pedro linares in the 1930s linares fell very ill and while he was in bed unconscious Linares dreamt of a strange place resembling a forest. There, he saw trees, animals, rocks, clouds that suddenly turned into something strange. Some kind of animals, but unknown animals. He saw a donkey with butterfly wings, a rooster with bull horns, a lion with an eagle head, and all of them were shouting one word, Alebrechis. Upon recovery, he began recreating the creatures he saw in cardboard and paper and called them Albrechts. So this is the story of Albrechts. Okay, we go back uh, to the book. 